Hey guys, what's up? I'm Morgan and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate this love and all the company that you guys have been bringing to this channel. And again, shout out to all my new subscribers. You guys, we have surpassed 600 subscribers and we are growing really, really, really good on this channel. So shout out to all of you guys. You guys have been making this worth my while on here. And today's video, you guys, has been all full on like brainstorming and I wanted to put this video together and make sure that I did not leave out anything. So let's get into how my swimwear brand is surviving a global pandemic, but also how your brand can do the same thing that I've been doing to make sure that you do not flatten the curve with your sales. So if you think you would like this video, make sure you guys keep on watching. Okay, so first things first, we're going to talk about networking and how networking has made my brand very stable. I haven't really hit a plateau with my brand since this whole social distancing thing. I haven't had a real decline in sales and I think it's because of networking. So that's the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about. So the first thing that like really stands out when it comes to having to be at home, but also having to make sure that your brand doesn't tank and make sure that you're not losing out on money, potential money or um, potential customers, is making sure that your networking skills are up to par. And if you think people are not buying, guess again, people are still buying, okay? People are still selling things. You need to sell things in order for this economy to work. But also, it's a lot of small businesses, especially like mine. There's new boutique owners every single day. There's new brands popping up every single day. So when it comes to networking, I think it's really important that we don't forget about these small businesses and you have to make sure that all of us remain relevant in such a small category. So um, reaching out to larger companies has been something that has always been on my agenda. I didn't think that I would actually start utilizing this aspect of networking until later on in my career as a brand owner. But since being at home, I've done a lot of research and it's come to my attention, especially from hearing other entrepreneurs in the same position as all of us, that reaching out to other companies could actually help your brand. And like I said, what I mean by that is reaching out to corporations, reaching out to bigger brands that you could potentially become a partner with or they could potentially end up sponsoring you in the future. And in order to learn how to do that, you have to be able to speak up. You have to be able to represent your brand to the fullest and I've been utilizing that. And just recently, I was talking to another content creator. Her name is Flex and Fly on YouTube and I'm gonna link her channel below. And I also did a chat with Monaco right here on YouTube as well. I'm gonna link her channel below these are two youtubers that you guys should definitely check out and follow them if you know they fit your vibe but I've been talking to flex and she had mentioned something in our live video with Mo about um, using LinkedIn and I've always had LinkedIn I've never actually paid attention to it like I should have and that's my fault but um, I have been using it a lot more since having that conversation and on linkedin there's a lot of big companies on there i think every company is pretty much on there and as well as all of their employees and things like that so with a, a fashion brand it's really important to know who's who in your industry and for me i've always had kind of like um a log of where I know who's who in the magazine industry because you want to be able to reach out to the right person to get your brand featured in magazines or to have press or things like that if it doesn't just come to you naturally so it's always a good idea to have names tied to certain publications so you know it works hand in hand but on LinkedIn I've noticed that there's a lot more information on there so it's a lot easier to connect with people especially with being at home people are really on their phones and on their laptops and computers because you know that's just what we have to do now so when you reach out to a potential brand it's not to really sell yourself in a sense but it's more so to to promote your business and say you know what you and I are a great fit. I think that we would have, you know, a great relationship now or in the future. And maybe you could check out my brand. And if you have any feedback, let me know. Or if this is something that might work later on down the line, also let me know and, you know, take it from there. It's just how you talk and it's just how you represent your brand. So I've been doing that and reaching out to brands and I've been getting like the best feedback 
that I've had in a very long time from brands that could potentially work with me now and in the future. And I have a lot of plans for the summer with my brand because I have a swimmer brand. So I've been reaching out to brands that could potentially sponsor or be like a vendor at one of my pop-ups and things like that. So that's how I've been leveraging my brand and getting more reach and getting more eyes onto my brand is by connecting with people that are at a higher scale than I am so that I can scale my brand at the same rate in the future. Another part of networking is making sure that you are continuously delivering product and maintaining your mailing list. Now, two separate things. I'm going to talk about those briefly. Um, the first thing is what I mean by continuously uh, delivering your product is making sure that ooh, excuse me is making sure that just because you're in the house you're not just like sleeping on your own brand you know you don't want to be that person you don't want to end up with inventory stuck that you can't sell later on because those styles are not popping later on so you want to make sure that you're continuously pushing your brand i don't know how you use social media or how you network or how you um develop your website or how you make things look on your website but if you are continuously pushing product that means you should always have traffic on your website you should always have people dming you about products or asking you little inquiries it doesn't even have to be about your product it can be just specifically about your brand you know so continuously pushing products and showcasing that product in the way that represents your brand is huge and it's crucial that you don't just you know let things slide until outside is back open, you know? So continuously push product. Um, the next thing is maintaining your mailing list. When it comes to maintaining your mailing list, it's not so super difficult. I think that this is actually one of the best things that you can do right now is maintaining your mailing list. Get people to a landing page and get them on your mailing list because you have to think about it in the terms of if somebody is willing to give you their email, that means they're willing to invest into your business, whether it is immediately or later on. And you have to have something on that mailing list that that they want. You know, it's a it's a give and take type of relationship. You have to be giving people something in order for them to even want to be a part of your brand in the first place whether that is your personality whether that is how you are on social media or whether that is what you are promoting to people but you have to get people on your mailing list because you don't own social media you don't own instagram you don't own twitter you don't own your website but what you do have control over is your mailing list so if any one of these platforms should go down you still have a connection to your audience and to your customers so you want to make sure that your mailing list is constantly growing and that's something i've been doing as far as my networking is making sure that my mailing list is growing and making sure that i'm maintaining the people on my mailing list so that they do not unsubscribe and that i always have some sort of connection to the people that support me and my brand so that's step one that's my whole networking take so let's get right into um another part of surviving a pandemic and that is the behind the scenes organization that goes into your brand this is big for me i'm a very organized person i low-key have ocd whatever but it keeps me organized and I'm used to being at home. So this does have a huge impact on my mentality is making sure that my workspace is clean, making sure that my inventory is in order, making sure that I'm in control of everything at all times because I don't need an extra headache without being, for me being unorganized. So the first part about the organization is making sure you're always working on a new collection. I don't care what anybody says, if you're not working towards the future, if you're not working towards the better, um, like the longevity of your brand, you're already falling behind. I am always working on new collections, whether that is me just sketching out ideas or whether that is me taking action and always producing some sort of small collection here and there. Now I did take a break because I've been trying to record tutorials <laughs> and things like that for you guys, which you guys have been loving. Oh my God, thank you for watching these tutorials. I have more on the way. But um, a big part of my behind the scenes and making sure that I'm doing something for my brand is constantly, constantly making new swimwear patterns. Now for you, if you're not someone that's, do that's doing cut and sew, if you're strictly wholesale, then what you can be doing is making sure that you are looking at these wholesale um, vendors and making sure you're keeping a list of what you could potentially buy once we are, you know, able to go out and source and things like that because you can buy now i don't suggest you buy now but you can buy now from certain vendors that are still shipping but i suggest you plan for the future
that's just the smarter, you know, that, that's the best advice I got for you if you're buying. You know, save, stack, and then have everything ready to go when it's time to go and then go all in. But for me, I'm cut and sew, so I'm always working on new designs. Or if this is something that you wanna do, eventually cut and sew, you can even work on new designs now and have them secure for later on because you never know what's gonna happen. Prices could go down. I, I feel like, I don't know what's telling me this. I don't know what spirit is around me, but I feel like prices are gonna drop a little bit because they're gonna need people to shop immediately. So just have your coins ready, you know, for any type of production level. The next thing that I wanna talk to you guys about that is also a part of organization is brainstorming. Like brainstorming is super big, okay? First of all, you, you use your brain, okay? Brainstorming is important. I have been using my brain to think of creative direction approaches that is gonna help me for future campaigns. Now, we all know that spring has been postponed, okay? We're we're praying that we have summer to be outside and you know, roaming and things like that. Even with caution, we hope that we can go outside. But since my spring collection has been postponed and I was actually working with a manufacturer this time to produce the spring collection, I had to kind of redo a lot of things in my own brand to make sure that I could produce later on and still have something going. Now, luckily for me, I do have a sewing background. I can sew swimwear, I can do all these things. And I do have more fabric on the way finally because I have a good connection with the person that I get fabric from, so they're shipping me some, so <laughs> look out for that. But um, brainstorming new concepts for campaigns is huge because you could do you can plan out literally your whole year and say you know what in the summer i want this type of look i want this type of feel these are the videos that i want to produce for my social media these are the videos that i want to put out for youtube these are the videos that i want to put out on my website and you can create all those things even though you're on your own you probably have to become the face of your brand right now whether you like it or not or you probably have a little sister or a bigger sister or older sister in your household or your aunt or someone who who's quarantining is that a word with you right now that you could use for the face of your brand they could be your model if they fit your whole aesthetic and if they don't fit your fit your aesthetic make them fit your aesthetic because we don't have access to models right now you know what i mean so for me i've been the face of my brand and i wanted to use models from a spring and summer collection but i can't go out and have people risking their lives to shoot a bikini so you have to get a little bit more creative so i'm going to be using my space my house my backyard my front yard my car to come up with different creative directives for videos for photo shoots and you guys will be seeing that very soon on my social media and if you aren't following me on instagram make sure you follow me on instagram it's going to be linked up here or down here or somewhere it's always in my description box but make sure you guys are following me i would love to connect with you guys and you know you know grow let's all grow here so that's my behind the scenes is working on new collections making sure you're constantly producing something making sure you're always sketching and coming up with creative directives um and making sure that you're sourcing your products while we are just chilling don't just be just chilling always be productive okay it's okay to take time off and have downtime but don't let that downtime consume you basically that's what i'm getting at <laughs> so let's move into the third process of surviving this pandemic <laughs> now the third part is all about social engagement and what i mean by that how can you have social engagement if we are social distancing hmm good question right yeah I know I know I know <laughs> but what I mean by social engagement is making sure that you are studying the market on your social media if you are a brand a fashion brand no matter what niche that I hate that word what niche you are in within this industry there are people that are like you there are the brands that are like you not the same as you but that are like you it's almost like like-minded friends you know what I mean but for business so making sure that you are studying the market looking at these brands seeing how they're working are they working are they not working seeing what their customers are responding to are they changing what's are they changing to fit in with what's current what are they doing so making sure that you're studying the market is crucial on social media because this is really telling you how the market is shifting in terms of how customers are looking at your brand so for me when i do my social engagement i always look at swimwear brands i always look at beachwear brands i look at surfing brands and seeing just what's 
what's happening? What are they doing? Are they still reaching out to customers? Are they just taking a back seat? And in my industry, a lot of people have been taking a back seat. So um, what I do is leverage them taking a back seat. I am feeling a void in my market because a lot of brands are really just chilling like nobody knows what's happening so they're chilling and that's a normal response i'm not knocking anybody for doing that but the fact that i haven't had a decline in sales means that people are still looking people are still excited people are still um inspired people are still hopeful and this is what you want your brand to be about you want your brand to keep going especially as a small business so i can see why bigger brands are taking a break is because they have the finances to do so let's just call it what it is you know but we are not them okay we're talking small businesses here we are not them we don't operate like big businesses so we have to think in terms of how are we going to pay our bills <laughs> plain and simple so study the market the another thing that you can do when you're studying like social engagement is look through those comments look at what people are saying in the comments of like-minded brands brands that are within your realm look at those comments see if you could potentially potentially answer some of those questions that these bigger brands don't have time to answer or they probably miss miss the, the comment or question or concern or whatever that's in their comments look through the comments I'm telling you I've gained so many new customers from just looking through other people's comments and now they're like oh my god girl thank you so much for answering my question I checked out your brand and I saw that you had a swimsuit and I'm just gonna you know get get it from you because blah 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 whatever the reason is it's okay okay it's free game on the internet all right it's free talk to people all right people are your biggest resources so talk to people network with people use those people's insight to better yourself and your brand period Whew. so that is all about social engagement <laughs> the next thing and the last thing is the fourth thing that i want to mention on how i've been doing and something that's super 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 big is how to not flatten the curve in your sales all right don't don't let that happen what you want to happen is your sales you want them to either stay you know like this just floating or you want your sales to go like this okay you don't want your sales to do this and then this and then you pop back up after this is over and then you try to get them back here but you've already lost so many customers because you had a dive and they're not connecting with you so you want to either stay average or you want to increase your sales you don't want to flatten this curve you know what i mean so how i've been doing that um, you have to use your skills y'all i know this is a common quote but use your skills to pay the bills all right when i saw that this whole social social distancing thing was extended and then it's extended again and then extended again and probably going to be extended again i had to use my skills in order to leverage my brand so what i did for my brand was i started making masks i'm not saying you have to do this but i started making masks with my brand behind it, meaning it's not just me. I'm actually making masks with my brand. There was, they were on my website. I was using Mayhem Swim fabrics. I was using all these things that I had and I was selling masks. I made a couple, I'm not gonna say the number, a couple thousand dollars in, make, in mask money, but that money, one, some of it was donated for better causes that have to do with this pandemic and then the other was going towards the future collection that I will be producing. So. In a sense, me making masks has actually helped um, leverage my brand in the community, not just in my community, but in other communities because I've had people reach out to me from all over the place, but also because people knew that their money that they were that they were spending on the mask was also going towards a greater cause. So in a sense, we were all helping each other, but helping a bigger cause. So that's what I mean by using your skills. I have a sewing background, like I keep saying, I know how to sew. So I made my own mask pattern and I start making masks and I start promoting those masks and it kind of just took off. And it was just me, like literally just me. And I made over 200, I think it was like two, 270, 270, something like that. I made a couple hundred masks and it was literally just me. So um, during my downtime, I use my skills to leverage my brand, but also use my brand to help a greater cause. This is how we work within the times. Um, and that's another part where I was just gonna, I just kind of talked about it just now, but it's basically create based on current needs, but keep your brand attached to those current needs when you are gesturing yourself 
to other people or promoting your brand. You want to make sure that your gestures always come back to your brand. Even if it's to help a greater cause, you want to leverage your brand at all times. This is how you get eyes on your website. This is how you get new sales on your website. This is how you get new potential customers on your website is leveraging your brand, keeping your brand within the spirit of whatever is going on. Now, the last part about not flattening the curve, flattening, flattening the curve in your sales is you have to practice perfect engagement etiquette. Now, engagement etiquette is huge. Okay, I know I've noticed that a lot of brand owners don't know how to talk to people. They don't know how to communicate with people in their comments. They don't know how to adjust to the mindset of people right now. There are a lot of people that are scared right now and they're panicking, they're still panic buying. There's a lot of people that are hopeful and they're, they're okay. So you have to, as a brand owner, you have to adjust your mindset to work within the mindset of people that are potentially reaching out to you okay so your mindset is everything so what i mean by that and how i've been doing with that i basically had to look at people in a certain light and say you know what it's time for you to fall back just a little bit but also push your product a little bit in a way that is still comfortable in a way that um is still exciting and encouraging and when I talk to people I talk to them exactly how I'm talking to you guys I treat people equally across the board I don't care who you are what you are how you identify you know I don't I don't care as long as you come to me with respect and love I'm gonna treat you the exact same way and even if you come with me with some nonsense I, nine times out of ten I'm still gonna treat you with love because I don't have time for negative energy you know what I mean so I notice a lot of brand owners as they grow they potentially start their mind set starts changing a little bit and their approach to customers change as well and that's not good so what you want to do is maintain consistency across the board and that is what etiquette is it's maintaining your vibe maintaining your tone and maintaining your brand story in order to make sure that you are connecting with the people that are supposed to be for you the people that are supposed to be you and your brand your customer those people are always going to be there if you can maintain what your brand represents and what you represent as a brand owner so you guys i hope you guys like this video i know it was lengthy i know i know i don't know why i keep doing this to y'all but i had to make sure i hit all the points you know i had to make sure i gave y'all all the information all right so this is how my swimwear brand is surviving a global pandemic this is how i'm thriving this is how my sales are still doing us right here it's steady it's smooth selling this is how i'm networking this is how i'm maintaining behind the scenes this is how i'm doing social engagement you know practice all this stuff you guys don't sleep on your own brand okay don't do that also hit the comment section i usually leave a comment down there below or comment whatever it is that you like best about this video tell me what you have been doing with your brand or with your developing brand if you haven't started your brand or launched your brand tell me some of the things that you're doing tell me some things you want me to talk about on this channel while we're you know in isolation um talk to me let me know what's up and i will see you guys on the next video but but first but first but first <laughs> why can't i talk today but first hit the subscribe button you know that would be awesome give me a big thumbs up if you like this content and now i'll see you guys in my next one peace